Peace. This is a meat and potato sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist. And today's topic is healers heal, but who heals them? When you start doing this work, especially if you're an empath, which is a lot of you, when you are an empath and you're healing others in the process, two things can happen. Either you lose your self-identity or what ends up happening is that you become incredibly discouraged. The reason that this happens is that one thing about the Bible, which is used as a ritual book in voodoo and conjure, but also it does have some esoteric truths. And I've went into this many times. There is a saying from the book of Luke, to whom much is given, much is required. And I think that as empaths, we want everything fair. There is never going to be fair. You should want balance. Everything's not going to be fair. And one thing is that when you're healing, you will run into psychic vampires, narcissists, and opportunists. This will be like moss to a flame. They're generally going to be attracted from your light alone. And if one is not careful, that light can be extinguished very quickly. So it's something that I remember watching Superman, the animated series, when I was a lot younger. And this would come on and then later on it meshed with Batman. But I remember when Kal-El or Clark Kent was talking to his parents and he basically was venting. He said, if I had to be Superman 24 hours a day, I would lose my mind. And this somewhat happened again. And we saw this when this was dealing with the multiverse and Mysterio and Peter were having a conversation. And Mysterio was just giving him another perspective, although he was really toying with his adversary, even though Peter didn't know it. He did give him a truth. And the truth is this. You're not selfish because you want some normalcy in your life. That doesn't make you selfish at all. Because you have some people that just keep coming for you, coming for you, coming for you. Even if they have a conversation with you. Have a conversation with an opportunist or a narcissist or a person whose psychic vampirism really has qualified their selfishness. You talk to them on the phone or even in person and they want you to listen to everything about them, how horrible their kids is, who went to jail, why they shouldn't be with their man or, you know, how much they loathe and despise their job. And then you thinking that this conversation is balanced and coming from a place of love. So you start like, OK. Let me talk about what's going on with me. Let me tell you this. Hear me now and believe me later. They're going to listen to you for five minutes for what you got to say. And then it's like right back to them. Don't believe me. Do this exercise with somebody and they will prove my hypothesis correct. And it's all right when you're doing shamanism, magic, it's a heavy toll. Why is it a heavy toll? Because the witch or the sorcerer, once they start growing and evolving, they're going to have to take extra precautions because of the narcissist, because of the opportunists, because of the low level entities, because of the poltergeist. They're going to have to take extra precautions and then they're healing. So while you're healing yourself and you're bringing balance to the planet, Magic does come with a cost and it takes a lot out of you mentally as well as physically. And this is why you must be careful. No, it's nothing wrong. Healers should want to have some normalcy in their life because this will accentuate their healing. If you study the asteroid Sharon. Sharon is what? A centaur. The wounded healer. In other words, 
you come into your own ascension by healing others. But while you are healing others, you must understand that ingratitude will come with you trying to heal others. You cannot have one without the other. So it's okay to want to love. You should want to love. It is okay to have diversions, whether it be sports or whether music. Music is good for the soul. That's in the Apocrypha in the book of Adam and Eve. So it is okay to have diversions just like it will take you to a temporary space that is good for you because it allows you to recharge your batteries and to refocus. So the job of a healer is never easy. It wasn't meant to be that, but that does not mean that you should accept unappreciation. That does not mean that you don't have the right to love. It doesn't mean that. And the whole thing is you deserve your esoteric flowers. And as I say always, yes, I like love and light, but darkness and elevation, I think that fits somewhere too. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I am the water alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.